All right, guys, so we're at the Rick compound with Sam and Ricky, and he has a project going on. I wonder what it could be. Where's the uh, plastic? Look at that, oh. look at that face. Hey, can't wait to check what this out. What are you out. doing anyway? Well, it's kind of top secret information. Busy beavers. Hey guys, welcome back to Is Your Six Covered. Appreciate you showing up. So, went out the other day, went to uh, Outdoors, sport, Sportsman Outdoors, and uh, ended up picking up the Tika T3A1, which is a beautiful rifle. Um, put on top of it the uh, Vortex HD Razor, 4.5-27. But, the same trip, as I was leaving the Sportsman, I went over and bought some on paint and uh, Ray and Sam were like you are not gonna paint that gun and I'm like oh yes I am <laughs> uh, the reasons why I think I a rifle should be painted is black rifles are obviously evil you hear it on the news all the time black rifles are evil so if you paint said black rifle to a camouflage rifle, it's no longer evil. So now this gun is no longer evil. We've taken Satan out of it. We've removed him from the masses. Now this is a peace-loving metal object instead of an evil black rifle. So, yes, I did paint it. And I want to show you some footage Basically, if I could back this thing up, I kind of turned the garage into a paint booth. Put up some uh, heavy visqueen. Still made it a complete mess. But, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. The rifle turned out awesome. I think it looks great. Even got a couple compliments. I uh, had some fun. I put the Microtech logo and the Eagle Claw on the other side as well. So... If you guys aren't familiar, this is the uh, dagger from Microtech. So I basically cut that out with some blue tape. Tried uh, putting it down there and then spray painting over it. That didn't work very well. So I ended up having just to hand paint it with some of these kind of like Q-tips, but they're pointy. I think women use them for their, uh, I don't know, makeup or something. But one end's pointy, the other end's like that. But you can really do some detailed work painting stuff like that with these. So it worked out good. I was, uh, I could have done a little bit better. There's a few things. I've painted lots of rifles in the past. So there's a few things that I noticed that probably nobody else would notice. But I think it turned out good. So we'll call it good. But here's how that happened. And i uh, kind of show you some of the steps I did. In case you want to make your evil black rifle just a nice little easy going firearm. So you guys stand by. Right. Oh, is this one in there? Professional Yeah, I like
He has no fear. No. Actually, it's about 10 hours old at this moment. Yeah. She got big cojones. Come together. It actually looks pretty decent. Good job, Rick. Thank you. Still thinking about painting the scope, boys and girls. And that's a Microtech Dagger logo there, painted by yours truly. So not bad, not bad at all. The paint I used was uh, mostly the Rust-Oleum camouflage. And then I also used this textured, multicolored, I think I got two different styles of that. I got this brown stuff, it has like a sand in it. So it gives it a little roughness to it, a little toughness. And uh, then I used this brown as well. 
One thing I will say is the sand texture stuff is a pain in the butt to paint with. It doesn't really lay on like your uh, regular, regular paints. So it's a little bit tough. I would definitely go with the base coat of regular paint. Don't use uh, that textured stuff as a base coat. I would use this or something similar, different color. But uh, it is nice to have texture. You can feel it on here. Feels good, especially if it's wet and a little slippery. You can kind of hear it. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Take care. All right, so a quick view of it all finished up. Some of you might be asking what that is. That is the Microtech logo, one of them. Uh, it's basically an eagle claw. I'll flip this thing over and give you guys the other side. All right, you guys, so uh, it's done. It's done. Completed it. Shot it today. Worked great. Did some touch-ups and some detail stuff that I wanted to do. Basically, a black rifle is easy to spot out in the middle of the woods. Um, camouflage is a little easier. It breaks up the, uh, the size and the shape of the firearm. I didn't do the I didn't do the scope at least as of yet because uh, kind of tossing it back and forth. I painted many scopes. I got two or three up here that are painted, but I don't know yet. I know this this scope is going to stay on this rifle for a long time, but just not sure. Just not sure I want to do it. So right now it's all done, and I'm enjoying it. Shot great today. Point three four. Four shot groups and it was it was spot on. So it was shooting lights out. Really enjoying this thing. We're gonna go out to the range tomorrow and uh, reach out to 700 at the local range. So that's basically the project on how to do it. Uh, if you guys are interested. Uh, Rust-Oleum camouflage paint was what I used and I used some textured multicolor by Rust-Oleum. This gives it a sand texture so it gives it a little bit of a feel to it. Kind of nice. Kind of some of those high dollar rifles that have that texture built into the uh, depending on what kind of platform it is but usually they're carbon or they are fiberglass. So that's basically it. Different colors. It's just going to depend on where you are and where you live. But 90% of the stuff I use is that camouflage in different colors. So there's that. Some of the textured stuff as well. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And now I get to clean up this big old mess here. So let's bring it in and show you some close-ups. And of course, there's a pure leaf sweet tea stuck in there. It's a little Microtech logo. Thought it was kind of cool. Their dagger. Might as well. Might as well. I'll flip this thing over. Rifle's still pretty light. I mean, it's right. Actually, I could weigh it. Hold on a second. I'll do that in a different video. All right, here's the other side. Sorry for the bad camera work. And I got the Microtech Eagle Claw there. And how I painted those was, where the heck are they at? All right, and if you stuck around this long, I went ahead and did the scope as well. Put the Microtech dagger up there. Left the JP, left all the turrets so you can see that. But now it's complete. Hope you guys enjoyed.